Sure be good to see my cousin Jed again. I can't wait to meet him. Like, what does Jed do, Fred? He makes monsters. Monsters? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I just remembered I've got something on the stove. And me and Scoob have to go back. Relax, you scaredy cats. Jed works for a special effects studio. They make fake monsters for movies. Monstrous Fright and Magic. Monsters while you wait. Sure. And like, do you mind if we wait in the van? Jeepers. What happened here? Like, I'll never understand creative types, but I do groove on their style. <laughs> Jed, it's Fred. This place has been completely ransacked. All right, gang. Let's split up and see if we can find any clues. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Like all the Scooby snacks in this room are making me hungry. I bet you can't find all of them. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to find out how to open this door. That's the switch over there, but I don't know how to get to it. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. <laughs> sort of key card. Hmm. Bingo. Now try to see if you can reach that switch, Scooby. Great job, Scooby. 
I'll go show this clue to the others. Hey, Scooby. Velma and Daphne went to check out the workshop that way. Huh? You'll need to slide down that cable to follow them. I'm so glad you're here. You've got to help Velma. She's been cornered by these two huge rats. Try to scare them off. Scare them? I'm scared. <laughs> Good job, Scooby. You've defeated the rats. Or rather, some sort of rat-like special effects creatures. <laughs> This looks like a radio beacon. Did you see that costume over there? It looks like the beast from Bottomless Lake. Impressive. It moved. Come on, Scooby. It didn't move. It's just a costume. Yeah. 